Okay. Let us pray anyhow before we, we get into this little discussion period of time that um, I believe we're going to be um, speaking to a particular issue today. But I have a thought I want to ask you here. Um, when we look in the book of Genesis chapter 2, verse 16 to 17, there's an interesting little thing. And as I was coming this morning, I was listening to a radio program. A preacher was on. And he mentioned the tree of good and evil. And then I just looked it up just now in, in Genesis chapter 2. And it says, And the Lord God commanded the man, Ye are to eat from any tree in the garden, but you must not eat from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. For when you eat of it, you shall surely die. What I want to ask you to, to feed back to me this morning is, why are we called trees? Why does the entire book, of the, everywhere in the Bible, we are only literally referred to as man when it comes to, to, to Yeshua. But when Yahweh spoke back in Genesis, he says, you may eat of all the trees in the garden except one. Now you see, because we have taken this thing literally now, we look at ourselves as trees. So do you think a tree could talk? This tree was a talking tree. Now, when we when we talk about the um, this thing about the fruit, and we have equated it to apple, some people say it was an apple, but it was a fruit. But here's the tree that produced fruits. Now, I think we have all been mistaken somewhere or the other, and and, and scriptures have have been misinterpreted. We need to understand this one thing, right? We are, in fact, equal to trees as we see them on the earth because we all come from the earth, right? We all grow from substances of the earth, meaning we, we breathe and eat substances from the earth. So we are earthy. We are called trees. Yahweh planted a garden. And in this garden, there are trees. We literally are trees. So what I want to bring to you, what I want you to tell me is this. Let's see if we can understand this. If we are trees, then who was this tree in the garden? And I'm going to make this tree into a human being for you. He says, and, and see the mistake is a lot of people interpret it like this. They say the tree was in the middle of the garden, and I got evidence of it right in the front of me here. Where interpreters and people of the law, and I'm looking at it on on, uh, on the internet, they they use this this term uh, tree as in something that is branches. But remember now, Yeshua says somewhere in scriptures, or is recorded somewhere in scriptures that when he comes, he comes to harvest, he comes with a sickle to harvest the fruits of the earth. So from, from Yahweh's perspective, we are trees, but we are trees that we are living trees. That's why when we die, we go back to the dust. All trees, when they die, those trees over there, no matter how big they are, when they die, they go back to the dust. But there was a tree in the midst of the garden. Check this out now. In the midst of the garden, not in the middle of the garden. That knew the difference between good and evil. This was the one that Yeshua was saying, you want to stay away from. Not a tree planted in the ground. Or as he would say, in the middle of the garden. But the word is mist in the middle, in the, among the trees in the garden, there's one tree that knows the difference between good and evil. 
Now, at that time, only, only Yahweh and Satan knew the difference between good and evil. Am I right? I, I got to be close to right. Because when, 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 when God planted the garden, he told Adam and Eve, there's a tree in this garden that you must not eat of. Because Satan was already a fallen angel. Go ahead. See, in, in that, even in the beginning, it said that the word was, was always there. Uh -huh. So, so Yeshua is the who he had in the midst. Because Yeshua always existed from the beginning, and Yeshua knew good and evil. And, and the, the, when he, he said, well, he said good and evil. It's, mm -hmm. it's, Good and evil is, is Yeshua knew good and evil. Yeshua's, the, his plan was always from in the beginning. Right. Because he knew that man was going to fall. So, so this tree in the midst of the garden was, was the, the, the fall of man that man should not have touched. There was a tree in the garden that knew good and evil. evil. Yeshua, but is, no, but you you are not to, to eat touch, of this tree. Of I will suggest so to we, you. Uh, go ahead. We we always was with him. Uh -huh. He expected us to continue in the state that we, we were created in. Okay. And and we were not supposed to have fallen, but in in in, in case of the fall. This is what I'm going to have to do. Are you suggesting that the tree that was in the midst of the garden was Yeshua? That's what I'm suggesting. Yeshua, who knows good and evil. Well, why, he would, he, good why evil. would he say do not eat of it? Because, I mean, this is only my... Yeah, I'm hearing you. I, I'm, I'm with you. I, I'm understanding that you... Don't just, eat of it because the, the plan A was always supposed to be man was supposed to have a relationship with him. Right. But but just don't eat of this. Because the day you eat of this, you my shall, plan B you shall is surely die. Surely die. Yeah. I have to have plan B in, in case. You are you understand what I mean? <laughs> or you I am of that. the impression that that based upon what you're saying there is some some relevancy to it. But Sister Di, listen carefully to what you're saying now. See, it, 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 it was what Yahweh, ex when he created man and he placed man in the garden, remember now, he had a, a he came down in the cool of the day and he had a, a relationship with man. Mm -hmm. And that, that relationship was supposed to continue. There was no need, if, if you didn't touch this, there's no need for me to put man in, in, in interaction because okay. we, we already have a relationship. I say to you, don't touch this because if you touch this, you will you will die. Mm -hmm. You, um, I will have to bring Plan B into into to being in order to continue a relationship with you. Mm -hmm. So, if we were to look at it again, right? You're still telling me that this was Yeshua. Mm -hmm. That's right. I, I, I <laughs> Elder, do you help me out here? Somebody, somebody, give me another. Give oh, me. You, 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 are, you assume that it's, it's Satan. Say, say I would. Say that I would, would like. Would okay. I would like. No, no, no. I'm hearing you no. because there, yeah. there, there, there <laughs> seem, there seem to be a good reason why you say that. Yeah. Because this particular tree. In the midst of the garden, somewhere in the garden. Now, consider trees to be human um, walking around things. We're not not in the root. We're not rooted in the ground. Somewhere in the middle of all of these trees, that means all these humans that would, would have been around. Let's say we all trees. He says we were trees. Somewhere in the middle there, there's a tree you're not supposed to eat of. Now, I could see you saying that because of, of what we call... Um, dispensations. It was not the time to eat of the tree of 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 of, of, of good.
good and evil. It was not that if if you want if you want to make it if you want to let's uh, superimpose this. Let's with the with the word is used again. Um, holy. holy if, we, if we want to holy speculate this, right? <laughs> this is how we're gonna put it. Let's just suppose that tree of knowledge of good and evil was Yeshua. And Yeshua See the day you eat of it, you will surely die. So Yeshua, when they ate of it, Yeshua had to come. And Yeshua died in, in our stead, but we died spiritually. And now if you look at the cross, Yeshua was planted in the midst of the tomb. I'm really trying to, to work with this with this concept that you've given me, but I'm finding it most difficult because as a result of eating from the tree, and I'm using the word from because the fruit is really the hearing, and that tree what the tree is saying. Let's put it like this. The fruit is hearing what the tree is saying and swallowing it because the words from the fruit of the tree, there's word, words are spirit. Words get into your spirit, and, and, and then you it, accept it. Now, I mean, the tree was to test your obedience. To test your obedience. Yeah. Every tree was good for something. But there was a tree that you were forbidden to eat of. Now, that's every my difficulty. Tree, every other tree in the garden. Bible says that the trees were good for the healing, the leaves of the trees were good for the healing of the nation. So everything that you needed, trees bear forth fruit, trees were good for everything. But this tree was a test tree to test your obedience and say, you shall not eat of this tree. The day you eat of this tree, you shall die. Okay. And so I think that tree was, a, was good and evil. It had Yeshua, obey me, and the evil was the sin that would have come in the world. It had the two sons. Let's say that. It had the two sons. Yeshua and... Um, <laughs> no, you can look at it as a Yeshua. I'm going to tell you what my biggest problem is. <laughs> whilst, whilst I'm listening to you all, right? Why would he say, don't touch it or you shall die? Why, if that was Yeshua, why eating from that cursed man to die? Because he gave you because a of, See now, see, because of this, no, 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 see, see, we got to take only what we see in this particular case. He says, this tree introduced sin into the world. This cannot be the, cannot be Yeshua, because Yeshua don't introduce sin. But he knew it. But y'all say the same, I... No, I, I am, I, this I, is, the, I'm working on, sister, I'm, I'm working on Sister Dice. Uh, model and I you see this is I think that the good thing about it is I think the good thing about it is we we instruction yeah before there were more men before Moses came and all those other people he gave Adam and Eve instruction that we see how they will obey me but I, I give you everything in the garden that you need you can live and you can have but if you touch this let me see whom you your allegiance to whom will you obey and so the good and evil was the good and it is me the bad in it will be Satan who will eventually introduce sin to the world. I still can't, I, I can't get past this because, and God commanded, I'm reading this straight from the scripture to man, you are free to eat from all of the, of any tree in the garden, but you must not eat from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. I cannot understand Yeshua being in the garden and you cannot eat the fruit that he was bearing. I could not understand his words and connection with him causing you to die because Yeshua is not a God. God is not a God of the dead. God does not deal in those kind of things. So why would hit the word from this tree cause you to die? Now you could use it and say, Death is spiritual separation. Okay? But we're talking death. We're talking about why these people died and and, went, and, and, and you die and you go back to the dust. 
the knowledge of good and evil, right? The knowledge of good and evil will always be part of who we are. But even if you talk about it in the dispensation of time, even if you talk about it in the dispensation of time, the knowledge was not supposed to be available at that time. But like I said, there was only two existing characters that knew good and evil. One of them was God. And the next one had to be Satan. Because Satan knew good and, and oh, evil. So, okay. But God was telling them when he made them, remember this now, he took them out of the original garden and he took them in the garden and he made a brand new garden in the east. And he put them there. And he says, in this new garden I put you in. This, this, is, not, this is not Yeshua yet. Yeshua doesn't come into play till way down the road. This is not Yeshua. This is God. This is still Yeshua all in one. He's saying, I put you here. But in here you will find a tree that you must not eat of. So, I can't see that being Yeshua. Yeah, but, but from in the beginning, there was a concert. Well, you, you see, I can't, I, can't, I can't deal with the council piece because God was one person. He always one person. And he will always be one person. So, when he said, let us. He, he was, I could say that to myself, let us. And, and that was, was. I could say, let us. I could counsel with myself. Well, then, so he was still speaking to God. Which means he was already the three. It was already, he was already, he was God, he will be God, he will always be God, and he is always one God. So, for him to say, in the garden, there is a tree you must not eat of. And for that tree to be him, he is saying, don't eat of me. I have a little twist that I don't like the sound of that. Okay, so here's, hold on Luke. Um, here's what I'm saying. When he says the tree of good and evil, there was a tree that had the knowledge. And if you listen to this tree, if you listen to this, that became the serpent. If you hear what he got to say and you act on it, you're going to die. Now that's the fruit. That's the fruit of the tree. But, but, but the thing about it, though, Pastor, even when you look at him at the cross, he went to the cross with good and evil on both sides. I, no, I, 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 I understand all of that. But you see, that's too far down. That's, that's too far down for me to draw a reference. It was a shadow, but then it's... No, a, no, no. no, no. no. I, what I'm saying is, it's too far down for me to draw a reference. Let's deal with it in the beginning. You see, because Yahweh cannot speak and tell you that you must not speak to him. But, but, but. See, because if you say that, if he said that in the garden, and that was him, he said, um, don't, don't say nothing to me. I'm in the garden, I'm walking about the garden, but you must not speak to me. That's what, that's what you're telling me. And that is not the God who I know used to walk and talk with Adam and Eve in the cool of the day. I cannot see him saying, if he was the one who he was referring to, if he would, even if that was him in the, in, the, in the person of his son, but his son was not manifested then. But, but, his son was only manifested when he came through flesh into the world. Yeah, but, but sister Dai, you cannot, Sister Dai, you cannot convince me that the Yahweh I serve is going to be in the midst of the garden and tell me don't speak to me. If you meet me in the garden, pass me straight by. That's why I because if you be, speak, if you speak to me, I can kill you. That's, that's what you said. You can die. What did I say? You can die. If you talk to me, I have to take you up. Because we. I put that in Bahamian vernacular now. Even, even with the father. Look, I coming to you. I, I see. Yeah. Uh, uh. We say to the children. Don't touch that, because if you touch that, you will get birth. There's consequences. There, yes. I don't see the tree literally as a person. I see that tree was to test the obedience. I give you instruction of every tree you can touch, but this one do not. The good and evil. The good in it, 
is that you can look at it, it can be used for shade, it can be used for beauty, for everything. But the day you touch that tree, that's when sin will enter and will you, you, you show your disobedience. Let's get, let's get the relationship between a tree and human being straight. That was not a tree with leaves. That, that, no, you see, this is where the world has taken it for us to kind of pick it apart. We are trees. Father Yahweh see us, he planted us in a garden. So, you want to ask your own question? Uh... So, listen to it good. There was a literal person tree in the garden that had knowledge that Adam and Eve did not have. So now Satan they knew there. who, they, Satan knew good and evil. I'm, I was trying to bring you to that point, but I wanted to go where well, there was sister die. I, 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 I But I don't have to say, it was to test their obedience and they were deceived. Not, not just test their obedience. Um, yeah, go ahead, Luke. Let me get Luke time to finally first, make right. a point. Um, they weren't deceived, she was. He knew the knowledge. He blatantly disobeyed because of the fact is that he believed he was lonely. He felt like he was lonely. He felt like, God, if, if I don't do this, then God's going to take this woman away from me and everything like that. Okay. He felt that. But the person that was in, there were two trees in the garden. Right? So now we, not, so now we got in the two focus, trees. Okay. The focus should not only be on the tree of good and evil. Because yes, Yah knows good and evil, but Yah knows good and evil because he knows evil because evil is whatever goes against him. That's why he knows evil. Satan knows evil because of the fact that that's what he practices. He knows good because he was in the presence of Yah. So he knows what God wants and he knows what God doesn't. But God knows what he wants and what he doesn't. That's why they both know what it is. They're two sides of the same coin. Um, when Yah went and told them, do not eat of this person, that means do not accept what he's saying. Because when, when you really look at what Satan said, did he have a lot? Never See, lied. I, I, hold, hold that thought. See, why I do because I just wanted to, to explore the different possibilities and areas, like it's that he's taking that particular point. But when this tree starts to talk, talk back, this tree is, is questioning what's this now. That's why I tell you this tree cannot, in my humble opinion, be Yeshua. Is the street saying, did, did he really say that? So then, you see, it, it gets it gets too too twisted if you want to put that tree in the garden see, as being I Yeshua. I was looking at the tree talking, you know. I was looking at Satan speaking. Well, he Satan and the tree is one and the same. I, I got that. Yeah, they're, they're the same being. They're one and the same. Let's see. I want to set the stage again, in case you're missing Luke. No, but I believe that the tree was saved. Yeah, but hold on, hold on. Yes, I, yes, the, I would but that the tree was there to tempt. Yes. To deceive you. It, totally, it was there now to see, give you choice. Eve saw beyond what Adam saw because she saw beauty in the tree. Because yeah. she listened so to what the, she listened to what the tree yeah, was but saying. She looked at the tree long enough for the tree to speak back. To well, yeah, but then you have to also take out why is it was it that Adam never looked at. He never acknowledged it because he was he told not to. He never sent you. Eve's sin wasn't against God. Eve's sin was against her husband. <laughs> Adam was the one who told Eve, don't touch that tree. God told him. No, of course, Luke's not a good Luke's not my trans Adam. No, but God told Adam. The command was Adam. Nothing happened until Adam made a fruit. Right. Okay. I agree. So we are I'm too far. Eve didn't have much to do. We Adam was there taking care of the garden. Okay. So Eve had idle time. Eve so did. she looked we... at that tree with a different connotation. Yeah. She's like, I wonder if it's for true. Yes. Listen, 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 listen. I am taking every fruit of every tree in season and me and Adam eating it. it. Right? <laughs> so I'm fixing it in all kinds of different form. But this one they say don't touch. If I put this in, our food for the day, I wonder what will happen. She decided that she had a different, that's why women look at things from a different perspective. But you know, there's another. That's the trouble sometimes. But you know, there's another. <laughs> no, sometimes. No, sometimes. This is another reason why the fact is you know it has to be Satan and not an actual truth. If 
you can eat from every other fruit besides this one. <laughs> yeah. In the garden, right? Uh, and then the animals in it. And the animals in it, then of course you would desire. Like, what? What? Why they can eat it and I can't eat it? But nobody touched it. No, 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 the Bible never says no one touches it. Right, like, okay, the Bible no, was giving them okay. so okay. time, no one touches it. Okay, 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 okay. Let me bring all you all back because I, you all don't take my thing and you're not going way around the road. I won't go back. But it's all us different interpretations. But listen, this is why we are talking about it. Right? I want to get the idea in your head that we need to stop the symbolic connection of a tree to be a a plant standing in the middle of a garden. Because, because Yeshua, the word never said in the middle. It's in the midst of the garden, which means it roams. It's in the garden. It's not a it's tree. It's the deepest portion of it. Yeah, but you see, it's in the it's it's it's, it's in the garden. So I mean, it was see, because, moving around. See, what we did was we 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 plant that tree and we make it the middle of the garden and we say this is a special tree. You can't go eat the fruit of it. It was in mixed up among the garden. So when you meet this particular tree. The, the reason you would know that tree because that tree will speak of knowledge of from a knowledge, knowledge base of good and evil yep. now now all I'm saying is let's consider back then in the beginning Yahweh look at all of us as trees so we have to take this idea that we're not talking fruit as in something you pick off a tree we're talking about taking the word which is the fruit of your lips so what Eve did, Eve took what Satan spoke to her, and she literally ate it. She put it into her, into her spirit. And so her spirit began, began to rebel. And that's why, the, and so I hear Sister Dye's point of view. I like that point of view, but I can't find the, the other questions that I would have with that will make me wonder if that was Yeshua and Yeshua knew the difference between good and evil the only thing I could say to that particular that particular view that sister Dai has is that in the dispensation of time they were to eat of the tree in the dispensation of time they were supposed to come to know good and evil and so what happened was literally they received the knowledge of good and evil far too early in the first day. Yeah. That's what happened. They, the, the knowledge of good and evil was supposed to come after the first day of their existence. Father Yahweh had a time set. And that dispensation, that was called the, the dispensation of innocence. They were not supposed to know. So whether the tree was Yeshua or the tree was some wicked spirit known as Lucifer in the garden, it would not have mattered. The dispensation of the time of knowledge was not the right time. Satan literally intervened with man in the early stages of his beginning. I suspect it's somewhere around the middle of the day. I suspect it's somewhere around the middle of the day. Now, what the middle of the day was? Around 500 years. Because the day is a thousand. Go ahead, Luke. Uh, First, to your um, statement of that uh, Yahweh verse uses his tree, Christ himself referred to himself as being, saying that I am the tree. The tree of life. Yes. And my father and my husband. Yes. And so that's what you mean. Again, that's what I'm saying. See, this is what I'm saying. When we start to see how Father Yahweh sees us, there's a difference. That's when we start to acknowledge him. We start to say, well, okay, this is how he looks at us. We are trees in this garden. That's why the people who, who at the end of the, the funeral say, and God looked down this garden and he plucked out the, <laughs> the, yeah, them, yeah. them, 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 them funeral directors say, and, and pick out the most beautiful bud. See, even them have, uh, they're speaking, the, the concept is right. But God don't go around picking out the best of his garden. He pick out the weeds. And, and, and he, he, he only separate wheat and tail. See, like I told this the other day, if I got a garden, 
and I find that one of my trees are not doing well, I'm going to go get some, some, some fertilizer. I can just pull that tree out. Oh, you? Yeah, you know me. Yeah, no, not much. <laughs> You're right. If I have a garden and I want a tree in there in, in surviving, I will do something with it. Now, what she's talking about is, I've had fruit trees that was planted in the wrong spot. And when, oh, I, I, need, and when I need that space, I cut them down. Oh, okay. <laughs> and she's like, and that's the same concept. Listen, no, 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 no listen, 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 no, listen. All of my life, right? Every time, you know, I gotta do something. Like I plant, I plant an orange tree one time, right? Not too far in the back of the yard. This, this tangerine tree used to bear and bear and bear. And then I decided that spot I need <laughs> to extend my my back porch. Well, one day come, during come home and she meet the tree gone. My wife had a fit, a fit of another degree. I said I need that spot, that tree. <laughs> A tree in my way. And they all people always say, you know, cut that berry. That's what she said too. You know, yeah, that's fine, but I need that spot. And that spot is mine, not the tree one. I own that spot. And I moved the tree. Anyway, moving right along. The concept here I want us to get. Every time I hear people talk about this tree, it, 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 it tells me some of that we're not we're not teaching people truth. But that is really I agree with you. The enemy, the way the scriptures are written, we have been kind of left into the interpretation. Because, yeah. But it's because of the fact that, at the end, like I try to explain this to all these people that go through this theological point of view, right? You are trying to understand something that was written for a selected people. Uh -huh. And you have to realize this, the Jews themselves will understand this because the fact is the, the Jews that wrote it were from it's like 10,000 years ago. So you you can't, like you could try and look at geography now and like, oh, that's the Lake of Jordan. That's what they were talking about. This time the Jordan that the Jews of 10,000 years ago were talking about is probably all the way over there. Well, it might extend from another, <laughs> but, from another point. But, yeah. but do you know what, let me ask you a question. What? Is it that Satan promised her that caused her to eat that fruit? He promised her something. He says, he says, listen to it. You will be like God, knowing good and evil. But that's not what he promised her. No, that, no that's what he said to her. That's what he and said. that's what she accepted. She then wanted to be like God. She wanted to know the difference between good and evil. And it, do you know what, what was the funny thing is? She was created to be his people, Adam's people. And because of our sin, now that is the reason why we have so much problems with Well, now you, <laughs> you go on into another, you go on into another avenue. And we only got women in here, so we need to keep that on the down low, we men. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> you, don't start, don't start challenging the women, no. because then, the women must know that in the initial case, let me show you this. After this whole thing with this tree and sin, Yeshua, Yahweh, pronounced a curse on the woman for that, you know. Yeah, but do you know Genesis she... chapter 3 verse 12. It says, your desire will always be to your husband, but he shall rule over thee. It is because what Satan presented to Eve was that you are going to be like God. That puts you where? Above Adam. Because well, since only God knows good and evil, so really, truly, it'll be God, you, and then me. But also taking the. Huh? That's, see, that's the thing about woman, and I don't want to go there. No, but right? take into account this, right? What was our first reaction after she? Supposedly no, bit bring, me, bring me up to date quickly. What was her first reaction? Her first reaction was she ran to him. So, as much as people want to say that you wanted to be above Adam, her first reaction was, let's do this then, together. So, why would she do that, knowing what Yahweh told Adam? That's why she went to Adam. She wanted to know that. She's she like, listen, this is good. 
She had eyes on sweet child. Yeah, she's like, listen, this tastes good. I don't know what God told you, but yeah, 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 this tastes good. This tastes good. But I like that I had a knowledge after reading too, when she said that in the New Testament, they will come back and say, now, nah, between good and evil, he was good. But the evil is that he had to die. That's when sin entered. Okay? When Diane did her analogy a couple of months ago, and she talked about the snake and the, and the rod, when you hold up the snake, what it meant. But the, the, the stake also meant he hung on a tree. Yes. Okay? So it has implications of his living and his death mm -hmm. that that not so much only Satan, but it could also be used for Yeshua. Mm -hmm. Now you say Yeshua don't know evil, but the evil portion was pointed to him what man will do, the evil portion of it. Same thing she said, the thief on the cross, there was good and there was evil. He always shows you choice. Okay. Especially in the Garden of Gethsemane. See, Right, there was always choice Again, when it came to a tree choice was where I wanted us to start. The tree goes back, that's why I say it cannot choice. The tree goes back to the cross. Without the tree, without me upholding, if I be lifted up, that's when the Again, cross was lifted up. Again, he was up. nailed to a tree. Yes. The symbolism was always that came to tree. tree. And he says tree. he is the tree of life. That's what I'm saying. So, so that tree is even symbolic. I'm, if you eat of me, you shall live. Yes. If you don't eat of me, you shall die. Again, put so, that in the form of a tree and you'll see if you don't so eat of this tree. So the analogy of Eve eating of the tree, she died spiritually. But it shows the analogy too of choice. If you obey me, you shall live. If you disobey me, the wages of sin is death. Okay, well then, okay. let me let me go. Let me, I will hook on to where Luke was. Watch this. Even though Eve had already listened to the snake, eat of the tree, whatever you want to call it, Yahweh did not even budge to come and speak to Eve. Because he gave his instructions to Adam. Eve was Adam's responsibility. Ah, Eve was Adam's responsibility. So the sin, the sin, that she committed, she knew that she sinned against Adam because she knew who was the head. That's why she ran. She That's ran back. You see? Yes, he was. She knew. She see, Adam. See, him. Eve. Eve was not as stupid as, as you might think. Eve knew that Adam was the head. So what she want to do? She got to convince the head that the, oh, this is good. This is knowledge. This, this is. But 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 you huh? know, Pastor, go let's, let's, let's take it in, in the reality of, of where we are. Okay. Even in the houses today, and most houses, women still, even though the man is there, the man is there, if you look at all the houses, do you know the, the women make more money than all the men, most of our men in our houses? And, and so they, they, they sort of uh, uh, take control. But, okay. yeah, I, uh, no. I'm not sure. The majority of them do. Yeah, but but the majority of the women make more money in, in these households. I, 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 I had a Okay, okay, I can, I, I can take that as that. I, I, I take it as that. I, 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 I'm not necessarily totally convinced, but there, it, it's pretty much. Today. In today's world, it's, yeah. it's pretty much balanced yeah, I, now. I, 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 and, and, and as a result of that, uh, most of the women take control of their houses. They're more successful at making better management decisions. But what I'm getting into the woman and man fight. Y'all, y'all, y'all trying to drag no, me somewhere. No, 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 and everything in the garden was under Adam's control, including Eve. Eve began to fight as a result of the knowledge she received from the, the tree that had the good and evil. And from then on, she was attempting to rule over the man. That's the scripture. The scripture says the curse that Yahweh brought on the woman was that she will forever try to rule, control, or hold on 
to the man, but the man, but the man will rule over thee. So what I'm saying is the curse is there. The curse became a part of who women are today. And so no wonder women are still the ones literally directing the man because here, here she goes to, to, to Adam, her, her, her head and say, convince him, literally convince him to, to believe this story. Yes, the, yes, 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 I, I, I recognize that. But, but, but don't you know when he made both man and woman, right? He gave uh, Adam a responsibility, right? Adam was focused on his one responsibility to take care of the garden. He gave Eve the opportunity to name everything in the garden. No, no. No, he no. said man. No, Adam, Adam named it. Adam. Eve, he had to tell you. Adam just said, and I want to tell you about it. Don't worry. Eve, hold on. That was just to, 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 and that's how women mind it. That's why when women and men go to school, women excel more. I look at no man, okay? Because we want to know all the finer things and we dig deep into education more than men. I think men are not learning it, right? But women are more. The whole that. idea goes back to this: they want <laughs> to show up. To man. show up the man. <laughs> I can see that in your head. <laughs> and no, no, it's true. <laughs> You see, okay, see, no, no, if you I listen, think, no, if you listen to the scripture in Genesis uh -huh. chapter 3 verse 12, it says the woman will always desire to do this. So, you see, you got, hold on, hold on, let me hear, let me hear, let me hear Luke, Luke, go ahead, Luke. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, I got to hear from the, I got to get a mild perspective on this. Yes, um, women, um, Love showing up, man. You guys keep the statistics of everything that you do. Yeah. Uh, you get the statistics how most young men right now are on the street mm -hmm. doing nothing good. But honestly, right? Um, then you go and you say this one simple statement: There are no good men. How could there be any good man when you spend most of your time emasculating, yeah. trying to show up somewhere? Oh, yeah. All they want to do at the end of the day is just. All right, we carry on, my boy. I agree with you. I'm not disputing that, okay? But there was a reason to emasculate the man. Let me guess. 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 You guys. Go ahead, Dee. Would spend more. First of all, I give men wrong because the fact is that we broke up a lot of our fathers, right? So daddy's not there, so we have to learn from the streets and, and through our friends how to, how be, to be men. Yeah. You guys cannot teach us how to be men. And when you're, whenever you try to step in a man's office, you take a com comfortable, calm lady, and you become a soldier. And you know what happens? You can never turn that down. But hold on, I am not responsible. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I am not responsible if your father was your place. No, no, we understand that. But, but you, you make that should not have, You should not. A woman should never have to step in a man's place. Whenever a woman steps in a man's place, that's not your it's sin. That's the it's man's chaos. sin. Because you have to step in a place. And when you step there, that's when you get, like, you know what, I like this power. But some of y'all don't be in place. I and get so that. you are but, misplaced. No, no, no. And we so get we got to step no, in place. Hold up. But then you also have to See, realize that as mom. You have to step in place. We have men around who can still do that job. We don't have to step in place. I agree, but he's talking about, he blaming my father and all this. No, no, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, we would allow them to function in place. No, you don't. You don't. Women actually do not allow men to stand in place. I come from a, a family where the fact is it is female dominated. Yeah, yeah. And the fact is they cry and they scream, oh, when will you stand up? But when you try to stand up, they knock you back down and yeah. they up. But uh, you take too long to stand up. No, no, ain't no time limit. Because when, when y'all chose me to stand, he gave me my appointed time. He knew when I was stand. You did not tell me yeah. when it's the right time. I stand. agree, but you're stepping. Oh, you don't do nothing when you stand. No, 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 no. When we stand up, when we stand up, there, there's just something that, that people gotta understand. There's a difference when a man stands up and a woman stands up. When we, when y'all gives us that long period of trying to stand, he puts people around us. When you guys are standing, you go out and look. There's a difference. 
He brings people to us. But during the time that y'all were standing, we have already gathered so much information and things that we we want. Do, but we we don't take long to function. We have got to say it's not going to function. Whoa, what you got to say? Whoa, whoa, your place whoa. is as a help me. Because so all that information you didn't gather is supposed to help But I didn't help you all along and you were doing nothing. No, but if you want to step back, then I'm going to stand up. <laughs> when, when do I get time to shine and do what y'all got to do? You can do it quickly. We've been waiting too long. Oh, no, 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 see, see, that's all right. Okay. 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 Now, that was the, that was the instructions. Okay. Yeah, we get safely. Do what you have to do and do it quickly. I do it quickly. But, that's what I said. I told her that was the You got to realize this. Christ was on earth for 33 years. Oh. And it was not until his last three that he, he showed did. up. What he was supposed to do. He did not allow any mind to okay. okay. rush him. Uh, and look, okay. guess what? He did it all in that three years. He did what he had to do quickly. He tells Jesus and the disciples, whatever you got to do, do it quickly. Okay, 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 okay. He ain't got much time to right. do what he want to do. Okay, let me, let, me, let me do this. Let me do this. Let me bring, <laughs> let me bring focus. No, 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 no. I'm recording this for a particular purpose. I will show you all. <laughs> I will show you all <laughs> what we look like when we, when we, begin to, to deal with matters. Eve, let's go back to what Eve's purpose was. A help meet. See, we go back to who the woman supposed to be. We don't have a problem. Okay, I'm Adam. That's Eve. Okay, I got this big garden to take care of. Father gave me dominion, and he gave it to you too because you were part of it. I have dominion over all of this. I was picked out and said to hear this, and you are a part of this garden. So, you are now my help me. What are you supposed to be doing? Helping me meet my needs to get this, keep this garden going. You, you, you can't become my head and start leading me in the garden. You have to, you, you have to bring whatever you, whatever you need done, gotta come to me. So, Eve ran straight to Adam because she wanted Adam to, 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 to verify and, and sanctify and agree with her on her mission. So she was a help me. She knew the animals probably better than, than, than Adam because she was, she had that nature, that motherly thing. So she was all, and see now, see, see now, we, we, we talk about animals and trees. There's two different types of things. So here were the animals. So Eve and the animals spend more time together. And then there were still trees. So there were still other trees mixing the garden. But most of these trees did not know good and evil. So what I'm saying is if women learned to be who they were designed to be, there would be no struggle like Luke said. There would be no demasculating of the man. And every time, and look, I like that. And and you, I, you, 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 you are typically set in a family, right? <laughs> of very strong, <laughs> very strong women. Okay. And I my, the of my wife comes from a, a a very strong line of women who 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 control, who control like more like their houses. And so my wife is a strong woman. She believes, the, and so men like me, I have to depend on the word that says, "And he shall rule over thee." And That's my piece. And then I take my rule stick, rule, and every time, and my money is my and money. Every, and look here, and since the die, and since the die, so I have to take out my rule stick and say, "Now nah, look at the die according to the word." So. So what we have to do? No, let's go back. Let's go back to the to the fact of the matter. Eve was supposed to be the help meet. If women stay in their roles, see, Satan messed that up early by giving the first opportunity of the knowledge to the woman. That was Satan's plan from the beginning because God put man in charge. Satan said, No, I want the woman to get this knowledge first. And now the woman is going to convince the man. Now let's get to the fact of the matter. Let's get to the bottom line before we sign off. And that's why the society is where it is. So, so we are right back to as it was in the beginning. And, and, and if man could take the rulership, then we would be. We see the women today, and you've got to look at women are 
totally in charge about just about everything. Well, if, if they're not in charge on the, on, if, they're not, if they're not the prime minister, they, they're the one who advising the prime minister. There you go. <laughs> if they're not the president of the United States, then it must be Michelle. Because mm -hmm. he got to sleep right next to Michelle head to head. And you know what it is? <laughs> to have a woman miserable, you better don't even try that, Obama. No, the guy won't use the word miserable. No. She is affluent. When you want something done, you could be. Yes, but that's And so you, you can imagine. The strength of the woman. You can imagine. The strength of the woman. Yeah. The woman is constantly trying to mold you into what they want. And see, that's the okay. problem. Let me say that. Let me say that. If you look at, at the women in the Bible, uh -huh. the Bible picture. Every woman that it talk about struggling with something. Yes. Yes. Everyone. Yeah. Everyone the Bible highlights, it, it highlights they had a struggle, struggle yes. with, with something. Because they always this is women's main problem. I don't like to say this so broadly, but it's a, it's authority. But man was always head. But, but man, man was head. always the one who given the authority. The reason women struggle so much to be who they are is because they they resent male authority. There is so much authority, we just say complacent leadership. But can, 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 can well, that's why Eve got tired of Adam sitting in the garden doing nothing and going to talk to the tree. And that's why Sarah did what she did. And see, so so there are plenty of examples that when because women became idle and they can't wait for the man because the man ain't the man. Don't take too long. No, the man, the man. Let's put this way. Look at look at lady talk. No. Adam did exactly what, what, what God said to do. Adam was told, don't touch that tree. Now, the woman decides she's going to go and talk to, 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 this, talk to this tree. Not, not, not Adam. Adam did not have any sin, you know. Not a sin was, 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 was commuted to Adam because of this. Adam, like Yeshua, Yeshua came in the likeness, in the form of the second Adam. He couldn't come in Adam's, in Adam's um, likeness or in Adam's um, shadow if he had sinned. Adam did not sin. The reason Adam did not sin is because in all the curses that the father issued, he never cursed Adam. He only said you can't, and you can't, yeah. He, he cursed the ground. Yeah. But he cursed Eve. And the snake. See now, obviously, this whatever this thing was that was walking through the garden used to stand up on his two feet and talk. And Yeshua cursed him to walk on his belly. You gotta see, this was not just a tree. This was a a something. This had to be a something made in the human likeness. And so what the so what the father did? The father said, because of this. You are going to walk on your belly and eat dust for the rest of your days. In other words, the species was cursed because of the seeds. That's why I got to, you know, I got to so look at it. that was the consequences of, of, of sin. Yes. And so, choice. so, no, we're not talking about the choice. We're talking about the, the facts. See, choice is when you have facts and figures to, to determine, to, to help you determine. The fact of the matter is, the curse came about, and Adam was not one mentioned in the curse. Because Adam, like Yeshua, let me connect Adam and Yeshua. Do you know, and Luke was right when he alluded to it earlier, but I don't want to go there. Adam caused the earth to be cursed because he was in charge of the earth. That was his responsibility. He was carrying it out. No, but, but, you know he was doing it. So but hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And so, so, and so, what, what happened to Adam, right? Because Adam loved his wife so much, Adam gave up his spiritual connection with God for his wife. Adam loved his wife that much that he would rather, in order to save her, he would give up 
his spiritual connection with God. Let's bring this to Yeshua. Here's Yeshua in God at the time. He loved the church, which is a woman, the bride, which is a woman, the congregation, which is a woman. He loved that so much, loved us so much, that he gave up what he was in heaven. God himself changed himself into flesh because he loved us so much. This is why you can't look at Adam the same way anymore. No. 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 completes me. This woman here, this woman, this, no, 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 no. We will be perfect because we will be perfectly balanced. Agree when they expect Now, but hold on. But when, see, but hold on a second. Let me say this. Let me say this. Let me show you this. Look, but when that rib becomes a pain in our side, that's when we have problems. <laughs> Instead of coming in to balance us, it's sticking us in our side and be, makes us miserable. But see, so of course, we go past and do something else. That's the oh, right now. Right now. Okay. For <laughs> you to live on a flowery bed of ease. Okay? He said, many are the afflictions. Since you were called to be afflicted. Okay? Let me, let me, let me okay? Let me. No, no, no. Put me on the <laughs> I got to get you saying this. Okay? You will be afflicted. But you can't say we afflict you. We make you, we stick you so that you can be called into your purpose and to your destiny that there's more hey, in you hey, that you hey, can go forward and do more than God has called you to be. Are they correct that would be and say, I stick you? Yes. Yeah, but I can't. <laughs> we stick the man. Since he said we stick the man when it comes from no, the rest. No, no, I, we I was making. So that they can go into all no, the waters. No, no, hold on a second. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Now, you know what's wrong with that statement? Why? What? How could y'all stick us to go into purpose and you all was the one who messed up purpose in the first place? We recognize we had the wrong one. Y'all had, y'all are the one who. You became, you, you abdicate your responsibility. When so Adam. So after you want my rib, I listen, complete you. Listen. I so I will push you into I, your When Adam rib gone out there and collect the information, come back and, and start poking at him, Adam say, man, the helmet is like behind my rib. Let me tell you what else happened today. So see? you can't tell me that the woman, see, see to say I'm that is to say that the woman, that the woman, see the woman is supposed to complete yes, a I man only when she's obedient to the man because the man is the head. The father speaks through the head first, uh, not uh, to the foot and not to the side. So okay, wherever the woman is, said. so wherever yeah. is, wherever woman is, Woman is supposed to be subservient. Yes. Yes. I think yes. If, 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 if we take a, a, a look, even with, with Miles Monroe and Ruth, uh -huh. we always say that that Miles complete her and, and, and she had her desire is to cater to her husband. And, and wherever he went, she went with him. And, and she did that. She always served him. But he made it possible for her to serve him. Or he still did for her 
you have to do all the other things he did for her. He did, to he make did. her life hold on, so hold easy, hold on. but she can do the catering. Hold on, hold on. But, but every man does to, for his wife according to his ability. Yes. And, just, and, and, and so we, what you we, 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 we supposed to fall in line, and, and with, with whatever he gives us, we ought to cater to him and, and, and meet all of his needs. But, Agreed. So I agree. So Teddy made the provision. Yeah, I, agree. I agree with that. Okay. A man will give a woman. The father gave Adam and Eve the garden, and, and Eve helped with the continuation of the dressing of the garden. The man will give a woman a house. She will make it a home. She will give him the children. She will take care of the children. He cannot do it all. She is there yeah, to work his He's the boy. He's the boy. Okay. Let's say what the woman says today. What women do too. When when women Look, get children, you. We you. When, when when women get these children, the women forget her desires to her husband. She caters to her children. She will check her husband no more. Which some, 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 some. But you, you know. Well, yeah. when I say she takes care of the children, I'm not saying that she neglects her husband. She does all that nurturing for the father. He ain't got in the shop to go buy no panties, bra, this and that thing. He can make the provision. The woman will go to it and see the girls need a man. Yeah. He even ain't going to the shop no more. We can't wear my socks, wear my hand, keep wearing this. Oh, you will take care. You yeah. will dress the guy and listen, see listen. that he needs a man. back to this. The woman is the help lead. Yes. Yes. Uh, however, that, how, however that help comes, she she's going to help make the man the best. Because she's supposed to help make him what God has intended. So that's why we stick you to the side and take you there. <laughs> If you, if you go ahead, look, let me ask you a question. Did any of you guys ever watch Terminator uh, 3? In Terminator 3, it came to the point, right, that there was this girl that he, John Connor was running around with. He was trying to help her, and Terminator was trying to save her. And he kept, so John kept, finally came to him, and he's like, okay, what's so special about this woman that you, you're trying to, trying to save her? He's like, she's your general. What? She's your wife. Well, that's what people have to understand. The woman was the first ever deacon, the first ever second in command, the first ever thing. That's where, where you guys are. It is, and see, even now, what, what you guys don't understand is men don't really try to control you. We give you room to do what you do, and we want that assistance from you. We just don't want it to be where the fact is just because we don't want to control you means you how to control us. Because that's where it is at the end of the day. Um, a real man is comfortable enough with his wife to allow her to have freedom. Yes. But a boy needs to use force and everything. Do this because I said it's not in the mind. But a man be like, baby, can you do that for me? Um, come on, baby, could you please do that for me right now? I'm busy. I do this and everything like that. Boom. And you say it's all quite the <laughs> The bottom line. Look here. No. Those are no. 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 Let me show you this. Let me show you this. Let me show you this. Listen. 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 Listen to me. It doesn't matter how God word is spoken, whether God word Yahweh word is spoken loud or soft, it is His word. And if women would just listen to what Yahweh says, you are a help me, not a head. And it's you, said, you know, it's how you perceive it. And see, but, but how else could you take this word? You are a help me. Tell me how much other ways you want to take that. But do you know a help me, the word comes with help. You are a helper. Because you are to help the man be who God has called him to be. Elder Dorian, if we're the head, then I'm using the neck. What does more work? The neck. The neck supports the brain, supports everything. But we're the arm. I mean, we're the hands, you're the arm. Everything like that. You're, you're there to assist us in becoming the them. We are, like we, we said, we're not whole. We become whole when we have you, and that's why it says behind every great man is an even greater woman. I say on the side, you're, you're, not behind. Women with, Little talk, man. No, on the side. <laughs> on the side, not behind. Satisfied. If you women would understand that in the position where God has called you to be, you will be ten times ready in trying to compete with your husband. But instead of making your husband the thing, because people are so obsessed with the trophy wife, but do you know that, that every man is a trophy husband to his wife? Because she remade him, she helped him think. Where like he was just the type of person to walk like this, and now he's walking around like <laughs> like this. <Yeah. laughs> 
Yeah, got me, got me all dressed up and looking pretty. That's what, see, those are the kind of things you're supposed to have me with. When we I go out. Listen, don't forget this word so much out of context, too. We have meat. But women have needs, too, that she need men, too. So don't take it me only to help you. Take it from me. Take it from me. Hear this. If a woman meet all of the man need, she will need nothing. But, but let me say this. If, I'm saying if she does all that she's supposed to do for her man. Now, I ain't saying there are some men who you can't satisfy. But yeah, generally right. speaking, if she treats her husband well in all areas, <clears throat> there is nothing a man wouldn't give for her. Adam gave up his connection with Yahweh for his wife. Okay, well, that's, how much, that's how much that's how much that's how much Adam loved that's how much Adam loved his wife. Sometimes I still make that. Okay? Fun. And so she be sure I still make that a thing. You see because what make up from your Yes, Yes what I'm saying. Here's what I'm saying. Women, this is why when I started this conversation this morning. I wanted to identify who she listened to in the first place. That influenced her life to constantly war against us because Yahweh cursed the whole situation. And we can't, no matter what my wife say, she can't get above those words that Yahweh says. And those words have not yet been rescinded by Yahweh. And it cannot be until we are back into the day and time of the first day again when we will be one again. Those words that he that he will always rule over you remain. Yeshua came on the earth and Yeshua did not rescind those words. What Yeshua did, and this is where women get off again, Mary came to the place, right? And Mary was told to go and tell my disciples where to meet me. There again. Help meet. Do you see that? Mary was, Yeshua confirmed her as help me by saying, go get them boys. Because remember them boys was hiding, they were scared, running all over the country. But Mary had the, her finger on the pulse. Mary knew all of their, all of their wives and children. Okay. Mary okay. said, she was strong. She, see, Mary she took the strong. message. Look here, Yeshua is back. Meet him in Galilee. He said, meet her. Again. What did Yeshua confirm Mary's position as a help me? And now, if according to my holy speculation, Mary could have well been the one who was, who, who was either Yeshua's earthly engaged to, and she had that authority to go to the grave. If you read carefully, only certain amount of certain, certain level of people could have go to the grave and or tend to the dead. So she ought to be even qualified to go and enter the tomb. She must have been a close, a person of a close relative relationship, wife or mother, according to the, according to the, to the Jewish tradition. So he was actually speaking to someone on the flesh, saying, "Here, woman, this is what you're supposed to do. You go get them." Not only that, who do you suppose was 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 helping Yeshua when he did meet them? Who do you think fried the fish or had the fish and the bread? You think it was Yeshua? It's most likely Mary set up the whole thing. So see, when women do and fall into the line, when they just simply follow the man, see, and particularly if he is a man of Yah. See, is it different if the man is a drunkard, a whatever it is, but if he is a man who preached the gospel, and is living for God to the best of his ability, then why should his wife have a problem with that? Because he might be married to a woman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad we hear that. There's <laughs> all sort of rippling effects as to why he could be a man of God, but cheating her, not like a woman of God when she's home, when but he's see, home. See, the see, requirement. That, that, that's a contradiction right there, because how could you be a man of God, I a mean, man of Yahweh, because if you are a man of Yahweh, that means your continence and your action and your characteristics in the street should be the same as they are at home. That's the reason why Christ attacked the scribes and Pharisees. He's like, listen to me, don't be laid down. 
But they did not write. I didn't say, but, but no. your wife, as she Listen to me. Church. Watch this. You made a good statement. Hold on, Joe. One second. It goes you back. You made a good statement a while ago. When the man, he will speak to his wife like a boy. But you get plenty of men who, when they home, speak to their wives like boys. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. No, you, no, no, no. See what but you But there's some of them in Yahweh. They wait, 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 wait. Luke, y'all are missing one important point. And my wife is a, an example of this point. How are you missing it? You got to listen to her good. Don't ever forget this statement when you deal with a woman. She will desire to rule over the man. Am I, am I, is it only me who understand this statement? No, we understand. No, 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 hold on, hold on. But you see, the curse on the woman. See, that's why when she say, but if the man say he's, he's this in the pulpit, but he's not. See, it is because... Whenever a woman desires to rule a man, she will never, ever be comfortable with what he does. What he does. She will, she will always find, and you see, it's because the enemy knows that the curse is on the woman. So what the enemy does is he pre prods her. So every preacher in the world today who is married to a woman goes through personal life sides that brings this question of who is in charge. My wife is in charge of the house. My wife is in charge of the money. But when I come here and I start as a man of yeah, she in charge. This when she got about here when I start up as a man. Of yes, a okay. When I get home, she can call me all kind of short and no good and all them other good words is used between us. Because keep in mind, see, whenever you discuss this thing with women and men, keep this scripture in mind. The curse on the woman is that she will always. That means. Technically, she'll never be satisfied with what the man can do. No. What does it say? Tell me what the scripture says. The scripture says that you will desire. You know what the word desire mean? Is to hold, to control. That's what desire means. Your desire will always be to hold or control. And every time I'm having, I'm hearing people talk about husband and wives with problems. This is what Yahweh said will happen. We keep on ignoring it. So men ought to be smart enough to know that their wives will always try to lead them. Let's hear what That's I me. Have said. For the last seven years in her church, you've been always passionate about that point. So nobody can know. You know, 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 you all know, you my wife know, my wife know how I, how I deal with that. I'm tired of the treaties, me, Debbie, and Diane. I've been debating you with Let's go, Sister D. Let me hear you. I want to be a mellow part of you now that you've got No, no, no. Let me speak. No, listen, listen, before you say that, I'm only quoting the word of God. If anybody have a problem with the word of God, then take it to God. Luke, all I'm saying is what the word says about the woman. All I'm saying is these women and most women in the world today exemplify that because that's a curse put on Eve. And they are Eve's children. And, 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 and to add to that, Pastor Cox, the woman, I think, Pastor Cox, have to be careful with the word because the word of God says that the woman should Yes. Be turned from our wicked ways. Yes. Then we are here from heaven. See, and all I am saying, and I continue to say it, I will say it publicly, I'll say it privately, I'll look into this camera and I'll tell you. I only use what the word of Yahweh says. As long as we have that flesh in the woman, that is the curse that will remain until we get back to in the beginning before the sin occurred when adam and eve was comfortably in the garden father yahweh used to come and visit them in the middle of the day that's where that's when 
my character and her character become one again. See, that's a part of my character that I'm supposed to train that character to become, to, co to come back into my rib at the end of the day when, see, there's no husband and wife in heaven, no. but there is a complete being in, in, the, new, in, the, new, in the new heaven and the new earth. My complete being is going to be her. That's why he said make So them she one. needs That's to complete me. So make them one as we are one means make us one again. We are not one. We should have been one. But now he, he extended her out of me. And when we get back to heaven, if she is not there, she will be in hell and I will be complete. But we have to be completed. But as long as we are in this thing, remember, we wrestle not against flesh. The flesh and the blood, we got to remember, we are spirit being. One, 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 one fellow asks Yeshua, if my, wife, if my brother wife die and I marry her when we get to heaven, who, who wife she's going to be? She is, a, she is a spiritual character. She's a soul. And her soul will be attached. Her soul will be attached as a part of her eternal future to the male, to the male spirit. So all I'm saying is this. If you if you women listen to your godly man, let me put it like that, and line up with him, your soul which lives on your character you build while you're on the earth, that's the part that's going to live. This flesh is going to die. So for me, and my wife to be one again, which we will, will not be in this flesh, it has to be after death. We'll be one again. No more sticking me in my side. No more arguing with me because that place will remain until you yeah, wake up. This is the final thing. Um, but do, you, do you know something that we forget about uh, their holiday? <laughs> what? Adam was the first priest, she's the first high priestess, and she was by marriage high priestess to, to live that way. But when she, what Satan offered her is what is the same for all satanic religions. They are led by a woman, high priestess. They have deities, gods, all stuff like that, but it's always the female gods that they worship the more and things like that. So, you're yeah, a lot of pagan gods are women. So that's what we well, have to. See, yeah, well, of course, in Revelation, it's called the whore. The church is called the whore. See, you got to see again, go right back to the beginning. Satan's purpose, intent, was to deceive the man. But he couldn't deceive the man, so he went through the woman. His heart. Went through his you heart. see, so he'll always use the woman to get to the man. Yeah. And so the intent was always for the woman to think like she is, she, 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 she knows more, she's better than, and she will then tell Adam what to do. Because again, the scripture simply says, she will desire to, but he will rule. I will never let that pass. Me and my wife can argue over that till Christ come. The fact is, it is the desire of the woman by Christ, by Yeshua. Hallelujah. Thank you for reminding me. That guy is still in my mouth. Um, it is the desire of Satan for the, man, for the woman to rule. But Yahweh say at the end of the day, the man will rule over her. So that's it for, for, for this segment. Let's go into our time of worship, praise, and then we can talk all about this at some other time.